Hey guys, uh, Logan Dunning, LoganDunning.com. Wanted to quickly walk through today how to create a font awesome type ahead or um, autocomplete component um, using Blazor and um, Telerik. Now you can use instead of Telerik, Syncfusion or DevExpress or you know raw HTML, whatever. This is just a kind of the process that I went through, and there could be some tidbits along the way that could be helpful if you're looking to make a drop down or a combo box or a autocomplete that lists all of the font awesome icons or glyphs or any kind of icons you want to display to, for users to pick to change things on your app so here i'm on a page of like my links on favorite-sites.com and uh, for example let's say i wanted to change orby which is like our home router um, you know have this this is the kind of the end result so if i say network or net you know you'd get whatever list and it's kind of filtered to give you it's virtualized and filtered to give you like only you know up to x amount of results you do like let's say i don't know what else would be maybe maybe that one hit save and there you have orby there so same as Synology, so maybe the other one was better, um, but let's just try Bell, maybe, actually that's probably appropriate, maybe Habitat, and we're gonna say maybe Hub. It's kind of changed it right there. So good to go. So I'll walk you through how I did this. Um, basically, I Googled a table list of the Font Awesome icons and someone posted it online so I downloaded the HTML of that and then just use a free tool online that will take HTML tables and uh, give you an Excel file at that point I loaded the Excel file into uh, SQL and this is the controller on the you know API side just basically says hey um, you know if they're gonna pass in some text to filter the list right this list contains you know over a thousand icons so I'm only gonna take 50 and then you know if it contains the text in the description or the the actual class code then do that else don't and then if they pass in nothing i'm just going to give them a list of the top 50 without filter so over on the front end side um you know before i just had a simple um, input control um, for the icon so the user would have to know what the icon class was which was you know kind of annoying because not you know users don't they just want to see a list of icons to pick um, and went with this here so um, passed in the um, the item or the type and then the data and then I'm saying minimum length three filterable uh, the value is that from the edit model and then value changed on change um, and there's a debounce of 600 and then I just did a simple template for how you saw the class in the dropdown and then basically the the, the CSS class followed by the um, the description so if I go into you know the code behind in this so basically I'm just saying hey new up a icon list from icon DTO um, which you know jumping ahead here just is a simple you know data transfer object with just these columns um, um, using auto mapper um, from this table if I go back here so it's basically saying hey when it changes take whatever comes in here um, we know it's going to be a string and then take the string and plop it into our edit model and then call load icon data pass in that icon when that comes into here it'll just get a list of the icons if the text is you know null or empty it just put blank you know for me it, it probably would have worked without it but i was like adding that layer of protection whether i you know test for it or not um better be safe than sorry so if the icon list is you know not null and the count is greater than zero then you know find it and then try to see if you can find something in that list that's like the text you passed in um, and if you have then just update the database with that and yeah that's it basically just a simple 
uh, user interface so you can actually pick different ones and you could just type in you know fa dash let's say user um, users and if you guys found this video helpful at all you know if you want to give a thumbs up that would be great and if you didn't give it um, a uh, thumbs up and then a thumbs up and then thumbs up and doing it three times will um, trick the algorithm to say you don't like it no I'm just kidding it's just a way to get another thumbs up but um, all right thanks everyone take care see you next time